my, who do we have here? Are you lost all the way out in these woods? What are you doing so far? Hmm. It's not often that I see people all the way out here. Quite far from any civilization, you know. Are you off wandering at this time of night? Why, might I ask, why have you decided to come up to my little cottage and knock on my door? I have to question your motivations here. Most people who pass by these woods do not stop at my cottage. They know better. But you, I suppose you don't know better. You're here. Well, come on inside. It's awfully cold out there. Make yourself warm and comfy by the fire, okay? We can talk about what you're doing here after you get settled in. You're in luck, actually. I was just making some tea on the on the stove. Just finished pouring a cup. Would you like some? Here. Please enjoy it. Now, while you sip on your hot drink, tell me, what are you doing here? It's very uncommon for humans to wander this far into the Hmm. Is that so? You're here in search of healing. And what about the doctors in your town? Were they not able to cure your ailments? Why would you seek, uh, shall we call them alternative techniques to healing, when I'm certain that there are doctors in your town? Mm, is that so? I find it hard to believe that anyone would recommend you come here. I can't say that those who have left have left with necessarily completely positive views. But I'm sure that you will have just a fine time, won't you? Well, my dear. Tell me, what's wrong? What's been bothering you? Hmm? Is that so? Hmm? Well, I can certainly try to help you with that. Hmm? Once again, I do need to wonder why you have come here. I'm not a specialist in healing, actually. Uh, well, I suppose I could try my best, but... Uh, do, you, do you trust the person whose recommendation you are here on behalf of? Well, that is no matter anymore. I suppose you're already here, so... I can do my best. Let's see, let's see. Hmm... I suppose we could attempt some kind of healing salve. I believe that would cure your ailments. Although I have to say I haven't tried it before, so... Mm, you're alright with being something of a test subject, right? Well, if you're here, I think that means that you've run out of other options, so... Mm, we shall proceed only if you are absolutely certain this is what you want. It is. It's fine, really. Mm. You're all fully trusting, aren't you? I can tell that you're new in these regions. Most would not mm, be so willing. You know when you're in these woods for too long, you start to become suspicious. 
suspicious of all of those around you. Uh, it's been quite some time since I met someone who was so trusting of me right off the bat. I... I... I appreciate your naivete, kind stranger. Well, shall we begin? Mm, for you, let me start preparing the ball. even applied it yet. Shouldn't be working just yet. Just have a little patience, all right. You're cured. I know. Don't be so hasty to get out of here, all right. You've come all this way after all. Won't you stay a little while? You work my magic on you. Don't leave this place just yet. Come on, just sit down and relax. You don't have anywhere to be at this time of night, right? Even if you were to leave, it would take you some time to walk back to town. I find it concerning that you walked all the way here at this time of night in the first place, you know. There are creatures much worse than a witch living in these woods. But I am relieved that you've made it here in one piece. find a place for you to sleep. I don't have visitors often, so it's a nice change of pace. Mm. 
spider eggs. Is, is that something that sounds appealing to you? Typically, I only use spider eggs for preparing uh, tinctures, but uh, I've never tried eating them myself. I suppose I could, I could make some for you if you really want it, but I uh, can't guarantee the taste. to be worrying about breakfast tomorrow. Have you eaten dinner already? It is quite late, but if you're hungry, I'm sure I could find something for you. You're starving. It was a long walk, wasn't it? I did already eat dinner myself. I had a, a bowl of wild rice topped with juniper berries, but mm, I do have a bit left over. Even you are different from the others, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have ended up all the way out here. There's nothing. 
reason why you ran all the way out here, right? Something drove you away from that city. Be it the feelings of loneliness, the isolation, or something more. You never know what your subconscious is trying to tell you. Perhaps there was a deeper reason why you left. Perhaps there is some string of fate that brought you ailment of yours. What brought it on? How long have you felt this way? Mm, quite a while. some time with you, well, 
I'll be honest, I've been using my magic on you this whole time. Trying to see where your ailment is specifically located. And I sense a malevolence around your ears. Almost like a misplacing things here. This little cottage can get quite disorganized. It's still in its package. There. I have to say I wasn't expecting a visitor today. I didn't think I would need to prepare everything. Package? Well, yes. Sometimes I do take trips into town to collect supplies that I can't get from the forest. I do have to admit, human craftsmanship can be very incredible. Of course, I disguise myself any time I need to go. Otherwise, who knows if they would really sell things to me, knowing what I might be doing with them. People have all sorts of ideas about witches. And I'm sure it doesn't all align with what humans believe we should be doing. But I find that it's none of their business. What do I do? What do you think I do? As a witch in the woods, I'm sure you have your own idea. What I am, about what I do. It's not so bad, though. Primarily, you're exactly right. I brew potions. They could be healing potions. Um, love potions are quite popular, especially amongst humans. Mm, it could be other kinds of potions as well. And that's right, I banish curses. And I do occasionally apply curses myself. And these are the things that humans don't always disagree, don't always agree with. They think it's wrong to curse people, but... You know, people come to me. They come to my shop in the forest, my little cottage. And maybe they present a good case for why someone should be cursed. People have their reasons, and who am I to say no? Do they pay well? Of course. Curses are not cheap, you know. Mm, but do you really wish to discuss finances so soon? 
You know this won't be free either. But I accept many forms of payment. Sure, you could pay using your typical currency, but there are other things I'm interested in. Human skin, human hair, your eyes, any one of these things could be used as payment. But we can work this out tomorrow. You will be staying the night after. Don't worry, don't worry. My rates will be cheaper than your average inn. Of course, it may not come with all the same amenities, but... What do you really expect out here in the forest? Beats sleeping in a tent, right? A soul? Do I take souls? My dear... You are a naive one, aren't you? I wish to teach you something about this world. You should not go bartering with your souls so readily. There are many creatures out there who will want your soul and who will be willing to take it. I understand. Souls are far too valuable for the services I provide, and I encourage you to guard yours closely. Consider it just as valuable as your life. soul has value, and so does your life. I already explained how you're special, right? Each and every human is unique. And in my world of magic, you are quite valuable. Every piece of you is valuable. But most valuable of all is your soul. Guard it closely. Value it highly, all right. Have you finished drinking your tea? Here. Let me take it from you. How was it? I never explained what it was, did I? <laughs> Perhaps you would rather not know. No, it's just my daily plan. What was in it? Well, I'm not sure how squeamish you are. Every human reacts to This is a blend, uh, made by steeping griffin feathers into boiled spring water. Those feathers, mm, you need to boil them in order to extract the potency from them. And they're not easy to come by, which is why it's important to utilize every bit of the feather. I drink the water that they're boiled in as my daily tea, so to not waste any of the powers of the feathers. And once they're boiled, then I can use them for other applications potions and such. What powers do they have? And 
my aging, actually. Do you know how old I am? <laughs> I'm not sure you'd be able to guess by looking. That's right, that's why you never ask a lady. Eighteen? Older. Sixty. Do you think I look it? I'm older than that, actually. And older and older than centuries. In fact, I don't quite remember just how old I am. There comes a time when it gets hard to count, it's hard to keep track. Birthdays just come and go. I suspect that drinking this tea every day can halt the aging process completely. But of course, I'm not quite human myself, so can't be certain how it will affect you. But consider this a day added on to your lifespan. I would give some more to you, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. Like I mentioned, griffin feathers are hard to come by. Of course, if if you were able to procure some feathers for me, then we could have a different conversation. I am always in need of... Brave souls to fetch ingredients for me. I don't do much ingredient gathering myself these days. I find it too dangerous and too time consuming. You are quite brave, aren't you? <laughs> well, if you really want to, I have whole list of items that you could fetch, but let's not worry about that tonight. Although if you're, if you're serious, I'm sure there could be a long future together between us, if you're willing to fetch these ingredients for me. I would find it very useful to keep someone like you around. of organization amongst all the chaos. Let me... Continue cleaning your ears this time with these fluffy ear picks. Yes, my room is a bit messy. I find that witches and humans have different ideas about what is considered organized. It must be easy to have an organized house when you don't need to keep track of hundreds if not thousands of different ingredients. Oh, you may call it messy, but I call it home. And what kind of curse do you have? I hate to admit it, but I'm still not quite sure. Look 
seem to have given me some insight, however. Hmm, I suspect it has something to do with your... Hmm... Your decision making seems different from a normal human. Personality is not like the others. But I still can't be so certain. If I had to guess, I would say that the curse has used your ears as an entry point to gain access to your brain. strange, it might feel different from how you're used to feeling when suddenly the curse is lifted and you realize what's been weighing on you all this time. to the curse once it's removed. If you insist on knowing, I will take the curse and I will seal it away into a bottle and I will keep it. Perhaps it can be reutilized in the future. to reuse curses. It's very troublesome to conjure a curse up of your very own. Like I said, it's almost as if they are alive. Creating a new curse from scratch is almost like creating new life. So, any smart witch will learn to recycle. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. I almost never use curses for my own reasons. It's always for clients. I can't think of anyone that I would need to curse in this world. I try not to have strained relations like that. Many 
curses can my soul buy? My dear, you need to stop. Stop trying to give away your soul. I might be kind enough not to take it, but you will encounter those who will not be so kind. You must keep it. Keep it safe, my dear. Could you offer someone else's soul? That is a difficult question. I tend not to do business with those carrying more than one soul inside of them. I find most often those kinds of people, well, are not really people at all, more like demons. And though I am a witch, I do not wish to deal business with types like that. Mm, it is possible to carry more than one card. Can be situations where multiple curses take hold within a body and start to cannibalize one another. Oftentimes, curses don't get along well together. I would not like to see the results of such a thing. again after so much time. Well, I didn't recognize you at first. You, you've changed, haven't you? Mm. Your, your aura is much different with this curse. Much different indeed. Uh, well, should be no trouble at all if you are telling the truth. A drop of blood of my own into this bomb is uh, actually much easier to come by than some of the other things that you could desire. Well, just a, <laughs> a prick of a needle. With all luck, if you are truly telling the truth, then this should dispel your curse. <sighs> all right, let me just I 
gather a proper vessel from my box and we may begin to apply the balm to your ears now. Things may begin to feel different from here. Hopefully, the curse will feel itself drawn out from your brain and out of your ears. You might feel it walking, slithering. Often they take the form of slugs. So you may feel it and I will try to catch it before it slithers off too far. Don't worry, it will be very small. I'm sure you won't feel it too much. Well, my dear, are you ready? Worry not. I'm sure the process will go smoothly. I'm now applying the balm to your ear. recommend that. I'm afraid that that would just reintroduce the curse into your body. That is why even though the slugs produce wonderful slime, I tend towards amphibians like newts whenever I need to collect slime. With the slugs, you can never truly know if they are a mortal slug or a curse. Oh no, 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 I don't actually eat the newts themselves, only their slime. In fact, I like to keep them as pets. They produce plenty of slime for me to harvest without harming the little guys. personality. You won't be wandering off again. I'm 
still still living off of the supply of griffin feathers that you brought me before. Do you know how long, how hard I've had to ration these? How long it's been since I've received any new ones? I'm really starting to run low, so if you could supply me with some more, that would be very helpful. didn't miss this attitude of yours. Mm. You could say that I missed you. And you really were helpful in gathering all the ingredients. I suppose after this, we can call it even, right? But I do expect you to start gathering for me again, okay? And don't run off this time. You don't know how hard it was without you. Where did you even pick this thing up? This curse? into all kinds of trouble since you've been gone, haven't you? Someone give this to you. Or you're making enemies. A long story. Well, you'll have plenty of time to tell it to me, right? I think I was considering turning you into a newt. If I hadn't realized who you were, I think that you would be stuck in my tank right now, feeding off of lettuce. You could have said something earlier, you know. now. You know, I suspect that this curse was having an impact on you, on, on your powers. You and I both know that you're not an ordinary human. No ordinary human could have taken down a griffin like you did. But I can't imagine that this curse would have, it would have been easy to do that with this curse must have had an effect on your powers. You can feel them returning. Excellent. Then you should have no problem gathering more for me, right? You know, I've been skipping my Sunday teas ever since you left in order to make sure that I don't run out. Do you know how much I've aged since you last saw me? I'm supposed to be immortal, but because you didn't come bring me more feathers, this has happened. Do you see? Do you see this wrinkle next to my eye? Do you see this? This is your fault, and I expect you to rectify the situation. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
flatter me too much. And what was all this business trying to give me your soul? Were you just testing me to see if I've changed, to see if I would take the soul of an innocent so willingly? You know me, I wouldn't do that. Uh, sure, I perform curses on people, but I'm not going around stealing souls. Come on now. I wouldn't scam a, scam a naive human. <sighs> I can't believe you. Well, welcome back. And I hope that you stick around and stay this time, okay? Okay. Well, your room is still here. I didn't change it at all, so I hope that you find that things are just as you left them. That all your things are in order. I didn't touch them. Well, I might have gone through them a little bit. Just, I just had to make sure that you weren't hiding anything from me, hiding any feathers from me. But I didn't take anything, so it should all still be there. So I'll go ahead, go on up to your room, and in the morning, tell me your long story, okay? Okay. Good night. Good to see you again. See you tomorrow.